Goat life is a must see. It's a must see for people who are uh, appreciative of good cinema. People who have the gumption and people whose guts are steady. This is not for the weak minded or the weak hearted. For about 172 minutes, writer, director, blessing adopts a winning novel, Adi Jeevitam from Malayalam, written by Benji Yaman, an extremely popular Malayalam novel, into a film. The making of the film suffered as many tribulations as the principal character of the film plays, Najim, suffers. This is a masterpiece film on human tolerance. The storyline, very simple. It deals with two people, Hakim, played by H.R. Gokul, and Najim, played by Prithvi Sukumaran, both of whom have Rosie dreams of making some quick money in the Middle East and thus come to Saudi Arabia. Unfortunately, their papers are suspect, they travel doubtful. While very little is told about Hakim, he seems to be the better communicator between the two of them. Both of them know no language in which they can communicate to anybody in Saudi Arabia. No English, no Hindi, no local languages, they know only Malayalam, but their dreams and what stops people from dreaming. Our protagonist has a wife at home, played by Amala Paul. He leaves behind a pregnant wife and his mother, Uma, played by Shobha Mohan, in the hope that he has small little dreams of a small house, a few children and a happy life in the backwaters of Kerala, but lands up in the most contrasting areas of the desert sands. The first disaster that strikes there is their papers are taken away by what they call the Khalif and later on <coughs> The two friends are also taken away, torn apart by two different guys who are managing them. Najib wakes up in what is called a masala or a goat farm with absolutely no human interaction with anyone. There's one man in the desert who he calls Hindi Wala, played by Robin Das. And he can't eat when he's given a kubus, a local bread which is for which you need to be adapted to eat it. He's yearning for water, there's no food, there's no water, there's no camaraderie, there's no... He can't communicate with anybody. So much we take for granted in life, language, water, dignity of existence and so much is taken for granted. All of them come forth like a pack of cards in the life of Muji. Absolutely hopeless. He wanders, gives up, he has no sense of time, doesn't have a bath for days on end, can't drink, doesn't have drinking water. He's whipped. He survives. This is the story of survival. A papillon, the great escape, I won't know what. But this is arguably one of the best films that I have seen in recent times. It's a gut-wrenching experience to see that performance. If Prithvi does not get a national award this year, blame it on the system, not on Prithvi. A marvelous performance. I can draw pictures of a Nasiruddin Shah, a Balrat Sahani, a Dilip Kumar yearning to do something like Najib in the court life. Prithvi comes out with all this. Notes. There's no doubt about it. The internalizing of the pain, 
the the capacity to move away from the sophisticated roles that Prithvi often plays or the light-hearted ones he plays to somebody who understands suffering as from his bones is what makes goat life compulsive viewing. You just can't get your eyes away from the screen as long as he is suffering. Unhesitatingly, this is recommended to those who value cinema as a document of art. If we are those who think it is a circus, God help, this is not for them. I will not see Goat Life for the second time, not because it's not a brutal movie, but because I don't have the stomach to see that kind of human suffering. Devoid of politics, devoid of the underbelly, devoid of romance. It is such a different, it's a completely on a different axis. Only Malayalam cinema could have thought of making a film like that and made good money out of it. Congratulations, Blessy, for giving us a masterpiece, a magnum opus on human suffering. And what does one say but bow down to the brilliance of Prithviraj Sukumar. On that note, with acknowledgments to Abhinav and Datu, I'll sign off with a reiterated recommendation to people who like cinema to go for the goat life. Thank you. Bye-bye.